Welcome to the beautiful island of Providencialis in Turks and Caicos that we are going to explore all over the island today. Inland, beaches everywhere, and of course, we're gonna enjoy the beach a lot. We just got out of the airport. We made it to our rental car, and Jacob is gonna be driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> the wrong side. <laughs> the wrong side of the car. Well, for us at least. And yeah, last time we did this, it was a little bit scary in the Bahamas. So it's really cool. We got a really cheap car, $120 for three days, and the car's all beat up on the outside, <laughs> but we don't really mind as long as it gets us where we need to yeah, go. Yeah, truly who cares? And you guys, it feels so good to be back on an island. Oh, this is gonna be the best time ever. The water from the airplane was insane. We were just about to leave and then I looked out and there's just this whole herd of goats. <laughs> I just love island life so much. Look at them just moseying on along. We're going for the first time. I don't know why I'm so nervous. It's just, uh... Uh-oh. Uh, Everything's backwards. This is so strange. I'm really happy I'm not the one driving. This is so weird. I feel like I should be though because I'm on this side of the car. We survived. <laughs> it was just like a two minute drive, but a little bit stressful at first, but then I kind of got the hang of it. Now let's head into the grocery store and see what we can get for our Airbnb. Groceries in this store are expensive. We keep seeing like prices that are just like $10 higher than we would normally see in the United States. It's just a uh, funny, I mean, it's a very like small island. Uh, so obviously I understand the higher prices, but it's a little bit shocking. We brought our own bags just because that's what we've gotten used to at grocery stores around the world. And we brought our own bags here and they gave us these little like tokens and you put it in like a charity donation afterwards. That was pretty cool. We got to like donate to charity because we brought our own bags. I just love that system. I feel like everywhere should do that. So we are currently trying to find our Airbnb. Jacob's doing a great job driving. Um, but now we get to make a left turn, which is a lot better than making a right turn here. Oh gosh, you're so close to that car. Um, we thought that this might be our Airbnb because there's like a lot of little units, but I guess it's like a house back there. So, I mean, you guys will find out as soon as we do. All right, well, we found it. I guess they live upstairs and uh, we're staying downstairs. So honestly, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not gonna lie. But this is it, it's the right address. So I don't even know where to park. Oh, it's cute. Cool. Okay, right. I feel less scared now. This is cute. This is actually a really Whoa, nice yeah, this is really cute. For being the cheapest place. I'll oh, take look it. at that. They have a little Bible right there too. Wow, full kitchen and everything. Since we're supposed to be trying to conserve our money because Turks and Caicos is expensive, Jenny was like, oh, we'll just only eat dinner today. Don't even worry about lunch. But then I find her doing something. It's four o'clock. This is lunch dinner. Anyways, we've been on Turks Island for like, what, two or three hours now and we haven't been to the beach. So I figured eat some pizza real quick and then run to the beach because I need it in my life. Let's be honest. So we're just walking to the beach, but it's actually pretty nice because there's a large like sand sidewalk because the cars go pretty fast, but we have plenty of space, so we're good. We've made it to the water. It took us about 10 minutes to walk here. We walked on like the main highway, turned towards the beach and here we are. It looks uh, pretty blue. There's a lot of like seaweed on the ground here. Definitely not like a popular beach but it still could be pretty cool if we wanted to sit down, but we're just walking on it right now to see what else is out here, see if there's maybe a better spot. You walking under it? <laughs> All right. I guess we can walk under here if Jenny wants. Ugh. There we go. Could have just walked around, but I guess that was fun. Get going. We're on our way to go see some flamingos, hopefully. Even if we don't see them, I feel like it'll still be cool because we'll get to see more of the island. Okay, so stop number one, we are going to the northern westernmost point of the island. We're at least going to try to make it there because that's actually on the way to our next stop, which is to hopefully see the flamingos. There's this like little pond in the middle of the island where 
you should be able to see them if they want to at least hang out on the island. So the first stop is going to be a beach area, which should be pretty nice, but not nice enough to get in maybe. And then onto the flamingos. And of course, after those two stops, we are going to go to the most famous beaches here on Providencialis, which is Grace Bay and Long Bay. And honestly, I think that's what I'm most excited for, just to see those turquoise blue waters with the white sand. It's gonna be a good day, as long as all the driving goes well. <laughs> and this is where it turns into a dirt road, but it doesn't, oh, doesn't look too bad. We're going to the northwestern point, not to the resort though, because we're not that fancy. Whoa, there's a bird on the side of the road. There's no traffic down here. And so we just stopped over, there's a bird. What kind of bird do you think it is? I don't know, but I do remember when I was researching the flamingo area, they did say there was like a ton of birds that you can see over here, like heron, uh, flamingos. That's definitely not a heron, but there was two others. <laughs> they said they were pretty popular around these parts. So just like a general good, yeah. like bird watching place. And it's just funny that we're just on the road. We just stopped right in the middle of it, no traffic. This is, this is Dude, great. I honestly love this. I love that there's nobody here. It's just bushes and then ever so slightly we'll come up on a hill and we just see the sparkling blue water. This is so fun. Yeah, let's get driving. It says National Park that way and Northwest Point Resort that way. Okay, so I'm um, not sure because we are trying to go to the National Park, but the GPS, it says go that way, but there's a gate right there. I think we're gonna have to drive down the road where Google does not say to go. That feels scary. I don't wanna. It looks not great, honestly. Well, there's nobody here to ask, so I guess we're gonna go on the other road. Yeah, we definitely cannot go down that road. It's completely flooded. Well, uh, flamingos? <laughs> We just stopped at the top of the hill because I just wanted to look at the beach over there really quickly and it looks so beautiful. I honestly cannot wait to get to that beautiful turquoise water, but yeah, we're gonna go try to find the flamingos, honestly. I don't have high hopes for it, but, whew, but maybe. And we need to at least try. If somebody says there's flamingos over there sometimes, then we gotta go see if they're there. Also, just for future reference, if you're here, definitely do not try to go to the Northwest Point because all entries are blocked. Well, the road to Pigeon Pond looks more promising, I think, possibly. So far, so good, but oh gosh. Oh, geez, it almost just got hit. Well, there's another car on this road, so I guess that's good. Well, we made it to Pigeon Pond. And we're looking for flamingos. I did see some birds moving around down there, but none of them are pink. <laughs> put on the zoom lens, see if we can see anything. We drove through the town about 20 minutes to Grace Bay Beach. We're gonna go inside this grocery store, grab a coffee, and then head on down there. This grocery store is so nice, and there's a little coffee shop inside, and I just ordered a cappuccino. Well, that coffee was only $3.65, so I'd consider that a win. I was expecting really high prices because that's what we've seen from like the grocery stores here and just like anything, like the gas prices, everything's expensive. Yesterday when we were at the grocery store, a bottle of cranberry juice was $18. And this uh, was only three for a whole giant large cappuccino. Like, that's a good deal. And of course, the first thing you see when you walk up is this giant Ritz-Carlton right in front of the beach. It's honestly so weird because we are staying in a very, very local part of town. So there's like no hotels. There's just like little street carts for food. And honestly, like I have like a little bit of culture shock right now. I'm like, this is so weird. This is not the Turks that we've been experiencing so far. But of course, where the good beaches are, that's where all the tourists are. So that's where we're going to. So I can't really complain. Grace Bay Beach is public. So as long as we can actually find a walkway to take us there, then we'll be totally fine and just chilling on the sand. But we are gonna have to walk around all of these resorts. We ended up parking a little bit far away from the beach just because we didn't know what kind of parking would be around here. But this is all public parking. We just kind of walk down a street that we thought was in between the resorts. And all right, so for next time, we can just park here or for you guys, you can park here. Look at that blue water. We're here. The water is so beautiful. The waves are a little bit bigger than like the videos that I've seen of this place. 
Honestly, I can't wait to just sit on the beach, drink my cappuccino and just enjoy this beautiful view and not look behind me because there's a lot of people. It's much better this way. <laughs> of course, there's quite a few people. I mean, there's at least like 10 resorts right here on this beach, uh, but it's not as busy as I was expecting. Like we can just find our own space and it's just gonna be nice, quiet and peaceful and just get to listen to the waves crashing on the sand. <laughs> But is this beach really better than everything else we've done today? <laughs> I don't know, that rocky road was pretty fun. Hey, okay, it, the drive was pretty cool. Like if we yeah. just take out the part where it's like, oh, we were expecting to do something and it didn't happen. Yeah. Like it actually was kind of fun. No, I do like that we got to see like the middle of the island. Like Turks and Caicos is more than just the beach. And I feel like we got to see like the greenery and we got to see the pond, even though we didn't see flamingos. <laughs> I think even if you just rent a car for like one day and just drive from one end of the island to the other, I think it's still worth it to get the car. It was yep. cool, but then this is also really nice. The water is like electric blue. Oh, I just, I'm gonna jump in for sure. There's <laughs> nobody swimming though. We're gonna be like the only ones at this whole yeah. entire beach. Oh, that's not that cold. I was expecting it to be cold, but that's not bad at all. I think it's probably warmer than the air right now. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. It started raining a little bit, but that's kind of better than what we thought it was gonna be. We checked the forecast and it said it was gonna rain like all day. So this isn't too it's bad. It's coming! Grace Bay Beach is one of the most famous beaches in maybe all the world. When you're in Turks and Caicos, this is a must see place because everybody says this is the most beautiful. The rain is kind of hindering that a little bit. I mean, it's not like bright and sunshiny, but it's still pretty good. I would say the water is still relatively blue despite the sky being super dark. Yeah. Are you going in? Oh my God. <laughs> I wasn't gonna get the swimsuit wet because we still have more driving to do today to go to another beach But I just wanted to get was it, anyway. it warm It wasn't warm, but it still felt pretty good I did want to mention that we've been walking around and everything and the locals here are so nice <laughs> That's a big wave ah. <laughs> Anyways, the locals are so nice. They're like always like honking at us and I'm like I know like 50% of them are probably like seeing if we want a taxi, but then the other 50% are just waving and saying hi. And they're always are like, hi, how are you? And it's just so cool. Yeah, so this is our first full day here in Providencialis, Turks and Caicos. And like even before today, like we were just like seeing all these local people like at the grocery stores and stuff like that. Every single person we've talked to has just like said hello or at least been friendly. I haven't met one rude person yet. Well, the slight rain has turned into a lot of rain, so I think we might pack it up, get in the car, and drive to the other beach, and hopefully by the time we get there, it will have stopped raining. This is a good thing we came back to the car. It is raining so hard now, and we're just sitting here debating if we wanna to go to the beach or if we just wanna pick this video back up tomorrow when it's not supposed to be raining. Yeah, I think we'll see you guys tomorrow. We're making our way to Long Bay Beach right now, and it's um, a bit bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we didn't have to take this way, but I guess we are. Oh, but you get to see these really fancy houses back here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow, we haven't seen stuff like that yet in our whole time in Turks and Caicos. <laughs> we are like legit off-roading right now. In um, our little tiny Suzuki. Yeah. Probably wasn't the best way to go, but it's always an adventure here with the roads, I'll say that much. <laughs> this is definitely the uh, fancy area of Turks and Caicos. I bet just a bunch of celebrities own houses around here. Wow, these are insanely big. Well, nobody's stopping us, so I guess we'll just keep going. So we were almost out, but then this giant lake came up. Jacob's gonna see how deep it is. He's gonna throw a rock and see how deep it is. Jenny, that's so deep. What do we do? No, just go on the side. What about the other tire? All right, well, we decided to go for it. This could be a really, really bad idea. 
Just go for it. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, easy money. <laughs> that, that was pretty deep. Easy money. This entire drive has been super eventful. It's so windy out here. Oh, wow. We are, okay, so that's the road that we just came down and we survived it. I don't know how. And now there's this like secret little entryway to the beach. It said on Google Maps that this is the public access to the beach. So I'm gonna try it out. Hey, look, there's another car here. So we parked on the side of the road and there's a Hertz car here. So somebody else had the same idea we did. So we just walk through all of these trees. I think this is the way to get to Long Bay Beach. And then right here's the wall of some very rich person. I just feel like the best beaches are always down little back alleys like this. So I guess we're just gonna walk down it. I mean, this is like very clearly a trail. It's just weird because I know somebody super rich is on the other side of this wall. And we're just like, I feel like little hood rats just like walking down this alley. <laughs> this still looks very promising. I mean, it's completely different than Grace Bay Beach where I mean like you just knew everyone was going Grace Bay Beach and like there was just a bunch of roads and the resorts and everything. And there might be that on Long Bay Beach. It's just, we're just not in the right area for that. So I'm just gonna keep walking. I think I might see some ocean. Well, we definitely made it. And there's some other people down there. So I don't feel that creepy anymore. It is quite windy here. Also, it's just a ton of private residences. But like, I think we can just pop a squat wherever we want. But yeah, the water, you can tell it's a little bit more murky because it is so windy, but it's blue skies, which is much better than yesterday. So I'll definitely take it. I wonder how much of the property they actually own. Like, obviously we're not just gonna like go sit in somebody's chairs with a sign that says private property, keep out. But like, I don't think that they would have ownership of the sand and the beach. Like, at least that's how it was at Grace Bay Beach. I almost like slipped right there. <laughs> like at Grace Bay Beach, like, all the resorts and everything, of course, those are private, but you can still use the beach. But here, I think we found a nice spot. I think we're good here, right? Yeah, I think so. I've just been laying here on the beach and it is just so relaxing. Although it is pretty windy, I will say we haven't had the best weather since yesterday. It was like raining a ton. Today is super windy. We haven't seen like the insanely crystal clear blue waters yet just because when it's windy and raining it kind of like stirs up the sand. Although we did go to a restaurant and they had pretty clear water there but like now it's like blue but still like a little bit murky because of all the winds so it's okay i'm still really enjoying it honestly the wet the temperature is so perfect i thought we were gonna be so hot but it's like 75 and breezy mm. i could just nap here all day if you follow us on instagram you will know that we are going to start doing group trips which means that you guys can come traveling with us and we'll plan everything you won't have to worry about transportation or activities or food we will have it all planned for you but whew, we need to figure out where you guys want to go so if you could click on this link right here and then just tell us where you want to go Whoa, I feel like there's a tropical storm coming. Then you can come with us, but we need to figure out where everyone wants to go first. So just make sure you fill that out and we'll just keep enjoying this beautiful beach. You could be on the beach with us someday. Now that I'm actually in the water, it's actually a lot more clear once you get up on it. It doesn't have that like turquoisey blue from far away, but now that I'm like walking in it, yeah, it's actually still really clear, even though it's so windy. So I can only imagine if it wasn't windy, how insanely blue and clear it would be. Oh, it's still so beautiful though. I mean, you really can't go wrong. Even if you don't have the best weather, this place is still so beautiful. Jacob, what's been your favorite part of Turks so far? 
honestly, getting a rental car is like the best move. I just love exploring all these different parts of the island that we wouldn't be able to get to if we were just staying at some resort and then we needed a taxi to get all these places. Like, I think it's so cool just the multiple areas that we've explored. Some of it hasn't gone our way in this video, but I still think it's been pretty cool. That is actually a very good point. We pretty much never rent cars because we're all about public transportation, but I would say that it's almost necessary here unless you're just staying at a hotel right on the beach and you don't really want to do anything else around the island or try any restaurants, then you don't need a car. But if you do want to go to the different beaches and stuff, you definitely need a car or just take really expensive taxis, but that'd be pretty, whew, pretty hard. And overall, it's just great to be here. I'm pretty sure the more popular public area is like way further down there. And so maybe there's other hotels and restaurants and things like that over there, but I don't know. We like this so much, we didn't even try to go over there. What's your favorite part about Turks and Caicos so far? Honestly, I think the locals are so nice. Like every time we pass somebody, they're like, hey, how are you doing? How are you? It's just so nice and refreshing to be around people that are like so happy that we're here. And one lady even said to me, she was like, we love that you're here, keep coming back. And it was so sweet. Also, the water is amazing. Also, we actually have a kind of secret reason that we haven't shared with anyone but our newsletter subscribers why we're actually here. And that is we're going to be hopefully swimming with humpback whales in a few videos. It is our absolute dream. So I really hope it happens because last time they just swam away and they didn't want anything to do with us when we were in French Polynesia. So fingers crossed it happens here. Make sure you subscribe so you can watch that video and we will see you in the next one.